I think we're at the moment in our community where we have to make some big decisions and chart our future. Uh, I think we need to be smarter, safer, and stronger as a community. Um, and I say that with this post-pandemic, I think what we've really seen is that there's restructuring uh, throughout the U.S. and the future is how we approach everything. Businesses, investors, homeowners, all are making decisions where they want to go. Quality of life is a big piece of that, but also business-friendly atmosphere. And unfortunately, we haven't had that reputation between our property tax and, and some of our permitting. So we've got a great opportunity to harvest investment, which helps grow all the pieces that we want. I mean, we want more cultural, we want more residents, we want more opportunities here. And, and people want jobs, they don't want just jobs, they want jobs with opportunities. And I think that helps us keep the talent pool that's here. Look, we got 55,000 students here during the course of the year. Wouldn't it be nice to keep 10% of that or more every year here, growing businesses and opportunities? but we don't have the atmosphere yet. First thing I want to do is, is invest in the city, invest in our staff through equipment, opportunities to train them and, and make them more customer service oriented, give them the autonomy to do their job. We have a lot of regulations and rules that inhibit our staff from doing their jobs. And that's, that, that's become a competitive edge for other communities. And, and in this state, we really didn't even have to go far. We can just go across the river. When people have the ability to make a decision on site that works with a, a developer or a neighbor or a small business or even a, a large business, that they can make those decisions on site and make it easy on everybody is what we need to be. That's the competitive edge today. That'd be my first thing. We don't sell ourselves like we should. Uh, we, we need to be out there meeting those folks. Uh, if it's investment wings, it's REITs, it's institutional event, uh, investors we, and companies because the, the tools today are, that are being used, it, it's no longer just recruiting the business, you're recruiting the developer who brings the business with them. And that's, you know, with investments in headquarters, um, you know, their, their criteria checks today is, you know, hey, do they have quality of life? What are the cultural, what are the outdoor options? I mean, with us, 55,000 acre lake, three rivers coming together, the highway system connects us so that if you do want to go somewhere else, you've got choices. You can go to the beach, you can go to the mountains, even for the day and not have to, to be gone for a long period of time to enjoy those things, but we have so much here to offer. But the reality is, is if we're not selling ourselves, we're not fixing our tax structure, we're not getting back into investing in our community, um, you know, this recovery money is a great opportunity to take that money and use it to, to leverage partnerships, to invest in our, our public safety. Look, people want safe, safe neighborhoods, they want clean streets. They want to know that our parks are at the best. I mean, Finley Park and other unfinished projects, just the riverfront projects, the connectivity. We do all these things that we've left open. Somebody's going to come here and go, wow. What we realize is that priorities always get shifted. And what we need to do is go back and finish these things um, and, and really embrace the asset that we have. This is a natural asset. People would kill to have what we have. It, it, it's about fixing roads, hiring police officers, supporting our public safety from fire to public works, investing in the needs and the basic services that people expect. That's our most important. And of course, economic development, which is a huge part of it because that affects our future and our cultural, that future uh, revenue and everything ties into those. And if we're not focused to make the city the best and easiest place to do business, then we're not going to grow. Where We need to change course. We need to be focusing on how to grow and, and, and have opportunities here. We're losing people. Our population's gone down, maybe not by much, but it's going. We got people shifting out of our school districts and moving to other areas of the county that are unincorporated. We're losing talent. We're the capital city. We should be the model for the state.